Welcome to Pug TV. This is J Adrian, and we are doing EverQuest Night Thursday, May 3rd. We are going to be running a dungeon, so I'm going to step out of the, the guild hall here. That way I can get popped into the dungeon. So the dungeon that we're going to be running, I believe, I don't think this was last week, maybe the week before. It wasn't that long ago. We tried running this. This was uh, Help Feed the Dragons. Now, when we ran it, we got, like, we died in the dungeon, and then we thought we got stuck in some of the geometry that was drawing in around us, and that's happened to us before. However, it, it appears that there's actually a bug that some of the, the dungeons, layer of scale 4... So layer of scale four, and there might have been a couple other ones, but that particular dungeon, you turned black. Oh, I was out. Wife's helping me out. So anyhow, um, so it's bugged. So it wasn't that we got trapped in geometry. It was they're actually bugged. Now, has this been fixed? We're not sure. But we're going to go ahead and run it again to see if, if we can get through it this time. Because it actually had a cute story from beginning to end. And even though it kind of bugged out, we're, we're going to try it one more time. But it go even more slow. Alright, she's pulling me in. <laughs> Katie says she's going to pick a, a healer this time, so... That will that will help quite a bit, and then I'm going to make sure I pick my Terminator person again, who's got some of the the heals on attack, and I loved the layout. Okay, so I got to make sure, and then I don't know if this bug was ever fixed that you had to kind of click on one or two of these other folks. Clockwork Executioner. Now, I mean, this isn't the one I play, but that would be another one to try someday. But I got to go find my favorite one which I think is at the top of the list. My Construct Mercenary. That's right, my Terminator unit. Kaylee's just finalizing her choice for the dungeon this evening. And we're good to go. All right. Now, see, this was what I loved was it's a total, like, total reskin of the dungeon. So you're starting out in the cabin, and the book. We're gonna take a quick, quick peek here. Uh, so thank you for taking up the task of feeding the dragons while I'm away. Having taken part in far too many battles, it is now my hope that North might have peace one day. I can think of no better beginning than by providing supplies to some hungry dragons in need. Perhaps they will think more kindly of us for our efforts. All you need to do is fill your packs with supplies stored here in my cabin, then make your way to the dragon cave. Be careful as the journey can be dangerous. So you don't actually have to pick anything up, that's just part of the, the, the flavor text. So, you know, I fill up my bags and I'm ready to go. So we're going to step out of the little cabin. Oh, and right away there's going to be some fightings to do. So we got a famished wolf. So this is where I need to be careful and just pull. Uh, there we go. Oh, hitting the wrong button. I'm like, why am I not attacking? Oh, because I need to attack. Need to hit the attack button. And then every once in a while they do some kind of weird debuff on me. Hello. Targeting in the woods is going to be a little tough, but I think we'll be okay. All right. Oh, you know. I bet what will help me, I'm going to put Shift R. So here they've actually put our forest for us to walk through. I just absolutely loved the layout here. So my goal is to walk slow enough so I don't pull in a whole bunch of creatures and then we can get and get all the way through to the end. Get stuck every now and then. That's just my navigational skills more than 
a problem. Okay, well, if I can't target the snakes. I can't target this one. What in the world? There it is. That's the only problem I have. That this is a problem I have in all dungeons is my tab targeting is terrible and I can't always for whatever reason click on stuff. I'm going to see maybe I just got to play it in first person mode. Although I like to see me so maybe I won't. But I'm kind of stuttering. Okay. Now hopefully if I walk that will give me a chance to react a little bit better to threats as they arrive. Unless they knock me down. But it's dead. Bloated blood gorger. keep expecting to loot the corpse but you don't get to do looting down in the dungeons which is fine if you've not played the dungeons if this is uh oh I should have it but if this is your first time running dungeons it's actually a, a pretty unique experience in the game you don't have necessarily your character you're given an avatar to run and then your avatar doesn't level up. It's kind of stuck at level 70, I think is what they get put at. 50. Level 50. And they will always be that level. So you don't have to worry about leveling and skills and things for your character. They kind of come as is. And then through your adventurings, you can actually pick up different avatars you can choose to run the dungeon with. But then all the creatures that you fight are level 50, or they're like groups that are kind of scaled to that level 50. And so you just get to run through it. You don't have to worry about loot drops and all that stuff. Your rewards come at the end of the dungeon. Once you have completed it, you get uh, marks and experience and rewards based on the fighting that you did within the dungeon. So it's actually a very, very cool and fair system. So you don't have to worry about being too weak or being overpowered. Everybody comes through on equal terms. All right, now I just got to find the other one is somewhere come out come out wherever oh he's dead now there he was he's trying to hide in the mountain there so I believe I know I'm level 54 I'm not sure how close to 55 I am um, but we'll see if if it's enough to level me up because yeah your experience goes to your outside of the dungeon character. So you're not building up anything for this guy, but you're building it up for the person you normally play with. Okay, and since you're healing me, I can kind of focus on just killing off these things. Now it was near here where we bought it before. <laughs> and where we started yeah, it was like right outside this cave is where we started running into some trouble. So uh, now that we're going slow and taking it easy, we should be just fine. And as we discovered when we came through it, it's not that it was difficult. It's just that I, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing or should have been doing. I was too busy talking, so I'm I'm trying not to do so much. Yeah. Luckily, there's not much going in in chat, so I can I can focus on this a little bit and keep her alive. Oh, surprise, surprise! Let's see if I can. Come on, aggro! Pull him off! Pull him off! My healer's tough, but you know you still want to run the dungeon like 
like your party group dynamics. You want to pull them off the healer. You never know. And the tab targeting, I still hate down here because tab targeting goes to my party members. So then I gotta keep keep tabbing through. Oh, they like you. You got a good buff on me. Oh. She put a buffer increasing my health by 2,250. So <sighs> they hate her because of the buff she put on me. Well, this isn't quite where we bought it, but we're we're getting close. This is <laughs> Kaylee says this is where she bought it the first time through. So we'll we'll go a lot slower. That's why I'm walking. Normally when I do the dungeons like this, I just zip on through. Um, let's see here. Uh, Joe, Joe 28 NY, come in. Welcome. And he asks, is that the free to play one? Yes, this is the free to play one. And then Eagle Claw answered that EverQuest 2 is free to play now. Yeah, there used to be there used to be the paid EverQuest 2 and then they actually had the uh EverQuest X, something like that, Extreme, something like that, and that was a extended and that was the free to play model, but the two have actually been merged, so all of EverQuest 2 is now on the free-to-play model. So Now my wife is on a, her paid account. Now you still have the option of the $15 a month so you can get extra bonuses or you can stick with the free-to-play model. Uh, my wife's on the gold subscription plan which gives her access to like all the races, all the classes. Me, I'm on the silver so I still have limited access to races and classes but I get like a couple extra bag slots and stuff like that. So, yeah, all of EverQuest 2 is free to play with different subscription options. Now, what made that cool was what was very cool about that transition they did now that everybody's free to play is uh, the folks that used to be on the paid servers have all been merged with the free servers so every everybody gets to play so they're all all intermingled okay so we're actually moving through uh, that would DCO put in put in to it uh, now you get more money for pay for it yeah DC Universe Online did like the exact exact same modeling structure so it's it's free to play but you know the more money you spend on it as far as like subscription level the more stuff that you get access to and the other thing too with EverQuest 2 is if you're happy with just the basic stuff of the free just like with DCUO if you're happy with what you get with the the free membership then you still have access to the shop so you can buy you know extra goodies um, you know uh, clothing options and I haven't seen the DC Universe online mall lately to see what kind of stuff they have for sale but I know they used to offer some clothing and stuff EverQuest 2 though has a very expensive not expensive <laughs> extensive item shops probably one of the biggest I've seen for any free to play game so you definitely get to customize your gaming experience and we are just about done with this room. Alright, so we are definitely coming through here a lot better this time now that we're paying attention and taking our time with it. Uh, yeah, I th think that was the room where Kaylee originally died and then up. I think just past this room is then where I died. So I got close to the end last time before I got stuck. So we'll see if I can... Hello, attack! Pull it off, pull it off. Oh, okay, it's dead. So we should be able to get through it now. Hello, guard. Take it. 
Take that. Wait, let me hop up here. There we go. Terminator still gets stuck on stuff, but I still get stuck on occasion. Alright, yeah, it's not past, not much further past here where I bought it because I, I went too far and a couple items that I thought were not aggressive turned out that they were aggressive and so I pulled like a whole bunch of stuff on me. And even though this character has uh, in their combat skills, I have an ability where I can kind of actually leech some life from my opponents, it just was not enough to keep me alive. Nice. Yeah, I, that's where I bought it was I, I walked up to look at their pets and I ended up pulling the pets and then all the other stuff back in that room. So this time we are going very, very carefully. Little, little group at a time. So this is where I got to be careful. I think if I go just in enough, I'm going to pull them back a little bit. Scratchy, Spot, I didn't see the other name. So this is a soloable dungeon. We just happen to always kind of come through these as a group, the two of us, so. And Sniffles, that's the last one. Yeah, it's definitely soloable if you pay attention and don't run off and try to pull a whole bunch of creatures at one time. Now I'm going to wait for this roaming guard to come and see who he pulls with him. Uh, so my wife, she picked a healer this time, just in case, and uh, she says everything that I get bombarded with are the couple of things that her character doesn't heal, so that's okay. Oh, here's a couple things. Oh, I'm just tearing them up, though. Come on. Well, that wasn't the one I had originally targeted, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not facing them, but I'm damaging them, so that's all that matters. And then uh, Free Life 101 comes in. Hey, Free Life. And Shadow is in. Hey, everybody. He says, and the Eagle Claw, just saying hi. Yeah, it's good. Good good times. Good to see you both. Thanks for dropping in. Don't mind me. I'm just making sure I kill all this stuff very thoroughly. And I'm... Uh, take that and we are just about near the end so we are definitely doing a lot better than the first time we came through 
So just keep that in mind if you if you run through a dungeon. Just be on the safe side. Put yourself in walk mode. Advance slowly. Kill the groups as they come. Don't draw too many. And then you can avoid any possible bugs that there might be in terms of dying and having to respawn. Wow, there's a bunch of little spiders here. I hate spiders. Alright, good. Luckily, these aren't very tough. Suck some life out of it. And now we're on our way to the very last room. So, this was the uh, help feed the dragons. So, I believe at the end of this, we will be feeding some dragons. Oh, my wife sneezed, so if you heard it, that's just her sneezing. Free Life says, uh, hey, we're just stopping in to say hi, doing a hard dungeon on uh, Wizard 101. Got to go Skype. Bye. See you tomorrow. All right, Free Life. See ya. Good luck on your dungeon. Trust me, I know all about hard dungeons. Oh, but you know, the beauty of it is, uh, if he's still here, just remember, by watching my cast and then doing your game, you actually be successful in your game. So it was very smart that you dropped by to say hello. So good job. Because, <laughs> you know, if you hadn't heard, it's a br been proven as a scientific fact that those who watch uh, Pug TV broadcasts are actually much more successful at their games once they turn to play them. So. Oh, the Yeti. going down yeti oh I was gonna say just don't collapse on me but that's exactly what he did and we've got at least at least we got one more yeti here oh my gosh I didn't notice those were all in there uh, shadow says uh, only reason I was late tonight I was downloading that mythos yes download the mythos that one's a good one I'm actually kind of torn between Mythos and Drakensang. You know, it's funny because I was given uh, Mythos a lot of a lot of praise. It, it well deserved. It's a good game. And then the night that we played Drakensang, we were really upset with some of the things that we couldn't figure out how to do. But yet, the one I keep going back to when I want have that kind of Diablo itch is Drakensang. So, what's that all about? I don't know. But yeah, give Mythos a try. It is definitely not bad. Alright, so... Uh, we got something over here to kill. So now it's just a matter of figuring out where to drop off the quote-unquote food that we brought for feeding the dragon. Oh, slippery ice patch in the back. So I think probably I could go either way and go to the back. So we'll just, I believe I'm being attacked by something. Nope. Yep, there they are. Got it. And now let us try the slippery ice patch. Bat, there's probably two or three of them there. Alright, I think I'm getting attacked. <laughs> well, that's nice. They can see me inside of the mountain. So I'll just assume that I'm hitting it. There it is. Yeah, my wife says, good thing we don't have to loot the bodies. Yeah, because I don't... They're inside the mountain. Looks like this just whips around. I think we made it. Nope. Oh. The heck? The heck is that? Well, right now I'm fighting a lightning bolt, which is also in the mountain. But... 
Okay, the sudden storm. Oh, that is vicious looking. Good thing I got me a little drain life here. I know I got the healer, so I was like, who cares if I drain life? She's keeping me alive. And what do we have here? <gasps> you make it around, and there's little baby dragon. So I drop off my food, and then we have a book. So let's take a peek at the book. Dear adventurers, if you are reading this, your skill and determination have successfully led you past many dangers. The wolves and snakes are always looking for an easy meal, but you have averted their wild and predatory advances. The Knoll Burrow, the Hot Springs, the Orc Camp challenges all, but you emerged victorious. The spiders and their poisonous attacks are not for the faint of heart, but you traverse their lair successfully. You triumph past the Yeti, the savage bears, and the terrible weather effects that often surround the Dragon Cave. Now it's time to unpack those supplies you bravely transported. I expect the dragons will be pleased with your efforts when they awake. You may well have helped bring us one step closer to the day when dragons stand as allies against the dangers of Norath. Congratulations and thanks, adventurer Hedvika. Now, this is another wonderful example of what you can do with the dungeon editor totally reskin the dungeon and actually put a story in it and I think that's fabulous. The last one we did was like temple of the I can't even remember it was a temple to like some lost ancient god or something like that but it was completely reskinned from the inside and also had story throughout so this is awesome. There are so many dungeons that we can run that offer you lots of marks and experience for running through it but all it is is just room after room filled with creatures this I think is a much more creative way of presenting that experience and those dungeon marks to you and so I don't even know how long this took to put together but uh, it's just this is a good good dungeon well worth the time to do and all you gotta do once you have finished up is walk through the exit leave the dungeon um, I'm gonna rate it action and style very well laid out and the style alone is just phenomenal. Uh, let's see here. And then uh, Shadow says that Hellgate looks like it's going to be cool too, but I didn't download it because I want to see it played first hand. And all the game reviews for it on YouTube sucks because let's face it, it wasn't done by Pug TV. Exactly. That's right. Tell people. <laughs> Let people know. We do it right around here. I hope we do it right around here. You're telling me we do it right around here. That's my goal. Um, yeah, I'm glad you bring that up. So let me let me finish this up here. I got me 40 dungeon marks. Awesome. And maybe I was already level 55. I don't even remember. Well, I'm 55 now. I don't know when that happened. All right, so great dungeon so I'll just wrap up that portion of our dungeon run so that was everything we had for EverQuest 2 tonight so depending on when you see this or if you watch this video alone or out of order uh, for April 3rd uh, we did the dungeon help feed the dragons we then visited uh, a couple other locations so just check my twitch channel and you should see like three EverQuest videos in a row uh, so outstanding dungeon great work I'm hoping I can find some more like that for next week so if you know of some dungeons or even just some really cool houses that you like let me know um, I also have uh, I'm, I gotta I gotta look it up but I did have a volunteer for a a, a show idea either you know I'm gonna work with them and see if we can come up with like either another uh, Norathian design wars or or something that they want to participate in so we should have another outside of our normal Thursday show coming up so that will be exciting as well so lots of good stuff going on with EverQuest 2 ever growing game so now let's go ahead set EverQuest 2 aside talk a little bit about Hellgate so we'll be playing that tomorrow I've had just a little bit of experience with Hellgate because I, I played Mythos and Hellgate just a little bit to see uh, which one I wanted to play on Wednesday. Um, but since I don't have any like Guild Wars or any kind of beta like that coming up uh, Friday night, I decided I'll go ahead and play Hellgate. Now, so far it is actually a pretty good, it's pretty good game. 
actually. And the fact that it's free to play now with like a cash shop and stuff like that, that, that should bring some new players to it. So I think from what you see tomorrow, it will be another, it'll be a good one to try. It's definitely a completely different experience than Mythos. And I know I was reading some of those reviews and they were saying that Hellgate was like the sci-fi version of Diablo. And the way that I've played it, it didn't feel like that at all. It felt like a good sci-fi MMO, an action MMO. And I'll talk more about that tomorrow. But you know I'm just amazed with how many people are saying how Terra is like the first action MMO or you know they keep emphasizing action MMO like that's new actually there's been quite a few games that I've seen now that have all their combat linked to the mouse like Terra does so technically there's quite a few action MMOs out there and Hellgate is one of them so yeah I think I think you'll be impressed with what you see tomorrow it's got a lot of depth to it a lot of depth so with that, I think we will wrap up our Thursday session. So tomorrow, 10.30 p.m., we'll do some Hellgate. Uh, since I don't have to work on Saturday, yay, that means I'll be able to actually maybe put a couple hours into it. I'll start with character creation for those who haven't seen it before, and then I'll start playing through some of the beginning content so you can kind of get a feel for what it's like and then uh, you know make the decision if you want to hop into it yourself. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So I hope everybody has a good evening. Thanks for dropping by. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. And just remember, if there's anything you want to see, you can either send me a message here on Twitch or the, yeah, the Twitch TV. You can send me a private message here on my channel, or you can reach out to me, uh, private message me on the EverQuest 2 forums. You know, just kind of reach out. Also, you can check my blog. I haven't I haven't mentioned my blog a whole lot tonight, but um, I also have a blog that covers just, you know, computer gaming in general and just some tabletop gaming I don't have a whole lot up there uh, I just started it but you know go show your love go check out my blog it's jadrian.wordpress.com and if that actually turns out to be anything of value I might actually shell out and get like an actual domain for it so for now go check it out tell me what you think and uh, oh let's see shadow asks what are you gonna play like character wise um, well, to be honest, my first trial through, I was playing, it was like a necromancer summoner type class, I forget exactly what it was called, and the pet on that was just, is awesome, very powerful pet, and I also noticed that they had the gunslinger, I forget the name of it, but it's like, a, it's a gunslinger basically, they got, they use rifles and stuff, and I made one, and I just, went out and killed off just a few creatures and I that's about as far as I got so I think I might try that tomorrow because the way they do the guns is actually very good and if you know me I like shooting so uh, I think that's what I'll play tomorrow is kinda like the gunslinger so I've only tried the two but I think between them tomorrow I'll be making up a gunslinger I'll show all the classes but gunslinger is probably what I'll play with and Joe says, uh, you play Hellgate, yeah, Friday, Hellgate London. And, you know, to be honest, I don't even know if it's called Hellgate London anymore. The company that makes it, T3 Fun, I think they just call it Hellgate Global now because they've also added to it, there's a, a, a you can get to Tokyo so the Hellgate Tokyo is open now as well. So I think that now it's just Hellgate Global. But yeah, I mean, Hellgate London is what it started with. But I think now they just call it Hellgate Global. Um, you know, just in case you're trying to do a search for it. I think even if you do a search for Hellgate London, it'll still take you to the global site. But that's, that's the server that's actually up and functioning. So look for T3Fun. Look for Hellgate Global. And uh, I think you'll you'll find it. It's pretty good. And then you have it on DVD, Hellgate London. Yeah, and I don't know if that installation would work simply because it's being hosted by a different company. And I'm trying to remember because I think the first company, uh, who was running that? I don't even remember who was running it the first time through. But I don't know if that disc would work. You might just because it's being run by a different company now. 
you know so I would you might be able to inst you might be able to install it might be able to run it I'm not sure but if you do want to try running it with us then um, make sure you go to the T3 fun and just download that client and you'll know for sure that when you start it up it'll get you to the right server so alright guys that's all I got for tonight so thank you very much for hanging out with me and I look forward to seeing you around a little bit later on sometime tomorrow same bat time same bat channel same bat stream all that good stuff and Obram says thanks for stopping by my place this evening hope you liked it yeah we did actually I really enjoyed it and I tell you some some of the the nice places to go are the ones without layout editors because I always like to see people you know share what you've got and loved it good place fun times and then uh, Joe 28 New York says time you on at I am on at 1030 Central Time so I'm not sure where you are in the world but uh, 1030 Central is when I start so if you want to do some Hellgate with us that's when we'll be starting just remember the first part I'll probably be doing some character creation so I won't be grouping up right away but once we kinda get into the game world we can kinda group up and then just just run some missions and kill stuff it's pretty fun it's nice and gruesome ah oh, cool alright then everybody we will talk to you later